Yoki Doki, what's up, guys? This is your guy, Mr. Evaluator. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to specifically be talking about Pennywise, okay? Okay, guys, get ready. Are you ready? Pennywise is nothing, okay? Pennywise ain't all that good, okay? So, you got people on YouTube that's literally making him bigger than what he actually seems, and he's, and he's really not, okay? So, I'm going to break this down to you, okay? So, I've been going in, in and out of the Stephen King universe, reading all of the books, summing up, and this is the conclusion that I have came to. Okay, again, you got creation versus the idea of creation versus the concept of the ideal of creation. And again, there is nothing bigger than the concept, okay? Nothing bigger than the concept of creation. So I'm going to go on and scale this to you. Stephen King himself, when he was born in the world, blah, 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 and all this other stuff, Stephen King is the concept of his universe because he was the one that wrote Pennywise, okay? In whichever year he began writing and actually creating the character versus um, Gan, who will also be the ideal of creation. And Pennywise is the ideal of creation. Maturin is the ideal of creation, okay? And versus... The idea of creation, with them being in, in the idea of creation, they created the entire Stephen King universe. Do you see how that works? Stephen King is the concept of creation. Gan, Pennywise, and all of those other monsters are the ideal of creation versus creation itself. So they created their creation. That's pretty amazing. So I'm just going to also break it down to you like this, right? Uh, so in the Stephen King, when uh, Pennywise somehow in his true form took Bill into the infinite layers of darkness and he told him that, you know, come on, keep coming, keep coming. Like, like this is just the only beginning. The infinite darkness is just the beginning. Come follow me. I'm going to show you the beginning. I'm going to, well, you know, I'm going to get, you haven't even made it to my true form. Let's go to the true form. Look into the deadlights. It's beyond sane. Now, when you define sane means normal, okay? Pennywise was literally telling the kid in his his universe, right, is beyond normal. His universe is basically connected to Gan, which is connected to Maturin, which is connected to all of the other monsters that, like, exist above the Dark Tower. You see what I'm saying? Pretty much like, oh, uh, I don't know about Gunslinger. I'll just, I'll just literally say that Gunslinger two walks on top of multiverses and all of this other stuff but basically what it is is that like um is that the reason why i'm saying this is because pennywise's universe is beyond normal which basically means that the way he see things is not the the his way of normal is not your way of seeing normal things. Prime example, a thin sheet of paper. In Pennywise universe, a thin sheet of paper may not be a thin sheet of paper. A thin sheet of paper will possibly be a pencil. It could be a crayon, anything. Okay? So clearly it was basically, so clearly this, I'm, I'm just going to get to the main point. So basically, Gan, uh, Gan, Pennywise, Maturin, all of these guys, and, 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 you know, because Pennywise is so big, he basically balances out what Maturin stands on. So that goes to confirm and let you guys know from what I pulled out and what I've studied that Pennywise balances the reality of the Dark Tower and of everything in the Stephen King universe, okay? So that means that Pennywise in his true form is the reason the whole Stephen King universe exists. Pennywise is the literal reason why this whole universe exists, because this explains why, you know, him being beyond evil, beyond all this other crazy stuff and all this stuff means 
that he has a Gan and all of these other guys have a universe of their own. And the universe of their own means that in your, you, in your world, you have a time clock, but in somebody else's world, they don't need a time clock. They can just look at the stars and know what you see and, and can basically tell what time of the day it is. So, <clears throat> like I said, I'm just going to get to the main point with this. Um, when I say that Pennywise is not all that good, bro, he's just, it's almost like in your world, right, in your house, you grew up and you was raised in your house and you've literally never stepped outside to bargain, right? So now you got Pennywise, right? Uh, some people that, that uh, I forgot the name of that movie, she couldn't go outside because she was born with some type of disease or whatnot. But anyways, that's kind of like how it is with Pennywise. So not saying that he's a disease or anything. I'm just saying like, so pretty much like Pennywise is this guy that already explored the world. And because you never stepped outside of your house, when you step outside of your house, you're you're leaving what you call normal in your house. And you're coming out into a new world in which you call is 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 like literally that's beyond your comprehension. Like so Pennywise go to your house and he say, come on, step out to this world. Like, look past the infinite layers of darkness. Uh, look past the infinite layers of darkness is just the beginning. You walking down the street, seeing people fighting in their yard, uh, seeing people get evicted, seeing car accidents, seeing, you know, police driving up and down the road, seeing somebody get rushed inside the ambulance. This is just the beginning of what reality is of my big reality compared to the earth of my big reality come on keep coming past this this is beyond sane this is beyond normal keep coming and so when he finally takes bill to his reality and bill sees his reality he is literally cured of his disease or whatever it was that caused him to stutter okay so pretty much it's almost like you know that you it sounds like that you have cancer and because, you know, when Pennywise takes you from the from your reality and you go see his reality, cancer will almost be like a grain of sand. Death will literally be like death would just literally be like a, a what you call death would just be like an ant. You know, it'd be smaller than an ant. It'll be like a doggone living organism that can literally get flicked away but i mean i'm just as far as i'm saying your reality of death is big but pennywise may have a you know because he death doesn't exist to him because he is the reason why the stephen king universe exists Matern is the reason why that stephen king universe exists because these characters balance out the universe it has nothing to do with chaos. It has nothing to do with good or evil. It's just the ideal of these characters created the entire Stephen King universe, which basically is the reason for infinite realities. This is why when he said that Gan spawned the universe at his navel tip, like he also created the chaos within his universe. Okay. And so Pennywise is a his avatar is a representation of Pennywise's true form and being a representation of his true form he finally takes him to his real bill to his reality and bill say oh my goodness like now bill, bill is beyond shock uh the disease that he has that caused him to stutter is cured so pretty much like this guy that goes inside his house and you're taking him outside his house and you you brought him past the killing you brought him past the gang violence he sees in the street and now he finally walks into your house and your house and his house is bigger than everything that's going on in the world it's bigger than everything that pretty much happening so he brought you to the side where you could literally see the way you can literally see the way he see things and now that he's opened your eyes to see the to see the stuff how he sees it your your um your disease of being stuck inside the house of you know of you being stuck in your own world and going through all of your struggles is like gone i mean because that was just 
that go, you going through your struggle, you going through your pain to this guy and all of this stuff, you know, you going through your human emotions, him going through your uh, you with you going through your human emotions like that's nothing to him. You know, that's 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 nothing. That's just that's just a beginning step that to him. That's just the beginning step of you leaving your version of reality. So he clearly so Pennywise, what clearly Pennywise did is that he took this guy out of his house and he opened his eyes the way he see things. I'm not I'm just saying this is where it is. I mean, he has his own universe. So he kindly opened Bill up to what his reality is. So Stephen King literally so Pennywise in his true form literally showed Bill his whole reality. He showed Bill that his reality is bigger than time, bigger than everything. So it's pretty much like a Mars, a Martian who lives outside the universe. And his he is the reason why your universe exists. So what he's going to do is he's going to go all the way to your universe, right? And like once you okay, so like the the power in you started writing about people started been thinking about aliens are aliens real and all of this stuff but not knowing that the greater being gan created these people to basically have these imaginations so when they run to their imaginations you know it gives them a conscience and a feeling that hey this is real so this alien outside your universe is going to come to your planet and he's going to show you he is the reason your reality exists so he's going to take you beyond your reality beyond the galaxy beyond the solar system and you're going to come in his planet and you're going to see that that everything in his planet is the reason why your uh is the reason why your planet exists you see what i'm saying so he is literally bigger than your planet itself and this is pretty much like the reason with the dc comics like you even have some people that just kind of wonder, well, chaos and order is the reason of DC's very existence. OK, and this basically is the the the, the stance that even allowed the author to pretty much put it together. So this is in the this is outside the author's creation because the concept of chaos and order is was the reason these authors basically put DC together a superhero comic that literally has chaos and order in other words if it wasn't for Batman Bruce Wayne's incident with his family he would have never became the Batman so the author believed that there's a purpose and reason for everything to happen the way it does so that something can get created so the chaos was Bruce Wayne, parents was murdered. Order was he became the Batman. And so he's going to set that balance in his universe by attacking all of the villains. And whenever, you know, I mean, like the Joker, who pretty much represents chaos, is the reason why he became the person he is. Because Joker start off a good guy, right? A normal person you know, who've been through a lot of tragic stuff and all of these things. And now that he finally became what he was, he literally, it turned him into the Joker. So he became chaos and Batman became, and Bruce Wayne became order. So these guys are going to clash with each other for a very long time. And when something happens to Batman and Joker, it's going to just vice versa, chaos against order, order against chaos. But at the same time, it's not there to battle each other. It's there to set a balance in the DC universe because what's beyond their comprehension is purpose. A reasoning why this happened to Batman so that he can be so that Bruce Wayne so that Bruce Wayne could be, become the Batman because so that he could be order in the DC universe. This is literally beyond their comprehension. Like Batman doesn't talk about it. Superman doesn't even talk about it. Krypton was the explanation for Superman literally coming to Earth and being hope. OK, and just like Darkseid, who basically represents chaos, is the order that well is the chaos 
that stores the balance throughout the entire DC universe. This is why this is a very good and perfect explanation explanation for these characters to pretty much exist throughout the entire DC universe. So, pretty much like Pennywise, Pennywise, Gan, uh, freaking what's his name, Maturin. These are the in other in other characters who I have not mentioned who is above the Dark Tower and pretty much is like where freaking Pennywise is or anywhere near him or whatever. They are the reason why the entire Stephen King universe exists. So pretty much like Chaos and Order, if you take Chaos away from Order, right? Then if you take all of his, his superhero villains. Well, all the supervillains from out of the uh, DC universe, DC ceased to exist. So if you literally go in there and just take Pennywise away and take uh, all of the other high tiers away, then that dark universe, that universe, that uh, freaking, what's his name? That universe would cease to exist. Like, I'm just saying, like, the Dark Tower, the infinite realities, all of that stuff would cease to exist because... It's, it's, it's Pennywise's job. It's his job to exist, bro. Like, literally. Like, this is awesome. It's Pennywise's job to exist. It's his job to exist. It's Maturin's job to exist. Because if they get thrown away or if they get tossed out or anything, then that universe won't exist. So, specifically, Pennywise has to exist in order for the entire Stephen King universe to stand because he's within the ideal and being within the ideal the ideal creates the creation so the thing about it is well the ideal creation creates creation so Pennywise it's his job to exist in the Stephen King universe now the situation with Trigon Trigon absorbs evil and he is his own darkness so like I just said, everybody has their own way of seeing things, correct? So, Trigon is an interdimensional demon. Time, reality, life, death, anything that's within the concept of the creation of the DC Universe doesn't even apply to Trigon. None of that applies to Trigon. And I doubt if Trigon was took into Pennywise reality and seeing that Pennywise is the reason that entire universe exists, like that, that won't even bother him to, to, to Trigon because Trigon is an immortal demon, right? Trigon does not have no boundaries, doesn't have no limitations. So that mean, uh, Pennywise, like I said, is the reason why Stephen King universe exists. So Trigon could easily see that if Pennywise was white from existence, the entire universe will fall. So Trigon having the capability to pretty much absorb evil and absorb, you know, yeah, absorb evil. And because he is his own evil, he could clearly put evil throughout all the Stephen King universe, right? Because Pennywise has to, like, Penny. I'm not saying that Pennywise is evil, you know, he is like the literal reason this this universe exists. So at that, Trigon has evil that is beyond the, uh, well, he being his own evil, because he was made, he is the embodiment of evil itself. So like he is evil. He is infinite evil. So he can't be destroyed. Him coming in Stephen King's universe, like, he would literally be the evil that that basically flourishes throughout the whole Stephen King universe. He'll pretty much be like a virus. He'll be like a contamination. And, you know, the thing is, it's like not only him being his own evil, but he could absorb other evils and make it his own evil. And scale to that power, he absorbed that evil on top of what he had. So flourishing through the through Stephen King's universe if he flourishes that evil uh on, on in Pennywise who is the reason why the entire universe exists like this virus will almost be like a a specter Pennywise but what Pennywise um whoo man my head 
But with Pennywise being beyond that concept of evil, what he what what is defined how he looks at evil is pretty much how Trigon can like literally because Trigon can like like manifest his powers. And so being evil, he could like he says this virus throughout the Stephen King universe that basically contaminate the entire universe. He can like flourish around Maturin and like contaminate uh, Maturin, you know, because like, again, Pennywise and, and uh, Maturin is the reason why the Stephen King universe exists, because if their existence was erased, then the whole Stephen King universe is fall. So by Trigon contaminating all of this darkness and infinite realities, like he will literally be contaminating. That means he will literally be contaminating Pennywise. He'll literally be contaminating Maturin and he will literally be contaminating Trigon. I mean, he'll literally be contaminating Gan and everybody in their universe. Because, you know, a lot of people go to wonder, well, if Pennywise is the reason Stephen King universe exists, if you throw evil on Pennywise, right? I'm not saying earthly evil. If you just throw darkness and evil on him, period, right? Uh, since he is the reason for the Stephen King universe and like a virus was just pretty much thrown on him. Well, actually, in order to get to Pennywise, it's almost like you got to attack the whole Stephen King universe. You have to get to the Dark Tower and with... um. Trigon corrupting all of this darkness throughout the entire infinite reality, man. It'll literally contaminate, it'll literally contaminate them. Like they'd be like, wait a minute, this is this is then Pennywise is gonna have to use his avatar, right? Listen up, guys. Pennywise is gonna have to use his avatar to like organ or somebody's gonna have to use their avatar to go inside that reality and find out what's going on. Like, why is people randomly killing and murdering each other for no reason? Like, seriously, everybody through everybody in the infinite reality all at one time is literally killing one another just for no reason, just for the heck of it. No kids like the kids. Every everybody is just randomly killing each other. Kids, all of that stuff is just literally committing suicide and like. This is when Gan or a greater avatar will be forced to the earth. Well, we'll have to come inside creation in a dark tower. Let's just say gunslinger, try to find out what was going on. Like he'll contaminate him with the darkness and being contaminated with the darkness is Justice League Dark Apocalypse. Um, well, actually, Teen Titans versus the Justice League. Trigon sent, sent out his uh, demons that pretty much the entities of these demons got inside people and literally started possessing them. You know, he literally started possessing them. And, you know, it took a while to get through uh, uh, Superman's head because Superman is Kryptonian and their mind is literally above any comprehension known throughout the whole DC universe. But, you know, sometimes the purpose could be understood if Superman ever, you know, under tried to study or understood that because then it'll kind of really make him above all. But anyways, that that's just a point like literally the, the this demon, literally the entity possessed Superman with corruption. And see, this is why Batman could not fight against that possession. He couldn't fight against that possession. So he used Bane neurotoxin to like literally take himself out. You know, before Trigon's uh, minions, his demons, jump inside him and contaminate him. So, the thing about this is that Trigon sends these demons, this possession spirit throughout the Infinite Dark Tower. And with Pennywise, Avatar, or Gunslinger trying to find out what's going on, that demonic possession will jump in him too. Like, literally, it'll get inside him and it'll possess his mind on the way he see what corruption is. And corruption in his mind is the reason why, you know, the Stephen King universe exists. So this corruption will be the thought of him being erased, the entire Stephen King universe erased. So his, like, whatever is dark, whatever is darkness to you, if suicide is a dark thought to you, if being erased from existence is a dark thought to you, it literally will contaminate your mind and possess, literally possess him.
it'll literally possess gunslinger and the thing about gunslinger is he's pretty powerful you know but uh, a possession against trigon having that capability like he literally have to so pretty much like lois lane he has to literally literally see something he cares about you know to like literally like get it out there and if he cares so much like to sacrifice himself to kill himself to take out the universe trigon is still getting what he wants you know but that's just a story if he really did possess the uh spirit inside kryptonian it's it's just will so if your will isn't strong enough to push out the demonic possession but it's hard to because if your mind is based on corruption and all of this other stuff, like Gunslinger, like he'll literally possess Gunslinger and Gunslinger will go to Pennywise avatar and that possession will jump straight on Pennywise's avatar and he'll be even more corrupt. Like the way he see fit, what, what, what he see corruption is. So they came to the universe to find out what was going on inside the reality. So Pennywise's deception, well not deception, Pennywise's true form's biggest deception is he is the reason why, well not deception, he is the reason why the Stephen King universe exists. That's what he was showing them. So it literally showed you that Pennywise cared for the creation. Let's give it a highball. Let's just say he didn't. I'm just saying that he was just showing them that my reality is bigger than your reality and I am the reason why your universe exists. So literally Trigon, his, his, like that form of Pennywise that his corruption is seeing that universe exit like erase. And so if, if he gets erased, then that, if that universe somehow gets erased and he is the reason why it exists, that that's, that's also like, well, you know, that universe, I mean, Pennywise can't get erased, you know, if that universe exists. So with him contaminating that universe, he'll contaminate Pennywise's avatar. Pennywise and avatar jump right back to Pennywise and contaminate him. And when he'll be contaminated, he'll be like the whole Stephen King universe, the Dark Tower will have that contamination in it. And then with that type of virus affecting the entire Stephen King universe, Gan see to salt to it. Uh, since he literally creates chaos and he is beyond that, like what he see corruption as in his reality, uh, Trigon takes the best of that. Like then he gets possessed. So pretty much like the Kryptonian, Gan will fight against that possession, depending on how many minions or demons Trigon is literally putting in him. So at a scale of uh an entire macroverse at a scale of an entire macroverse trigon if trigon reaches that macroverse scale he can put that possession inside him and gan will fight against it but you know after a while he's he'll take gan and so this is the reason why i said what i said from the beginning by the time trigon steps through infinite darkness just to get the pennywise of all that darkness that he literally absorbed he will literally be contaminating the entire stephen king universe and contaminating if he contaminates gan if he contaminates pennywise if he contaminates maturin then the entire stephen king universe will literally cease to exist like seriously bro like their entire universe will cease to freaking exist and like even Stephen King himself right if 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 Trigon was to like literally put dark thoughts in his mind so obviously Stephen King's reality is bigger than Gan's reality and we know that in Stephen King's reality, who is basically the concept of things, the concept of creation, like whatever he sees corruption as, because it says that Trigon is his own evil. So he could literally take his demons and his possession and his demons will like literally, even if Pennywise doesn't have corruption, right? Of course, he isn't corruption. He is the reason why the Stephen King universe exists. So being contaminated by Trigon with all of this darkness, why? Is because Trigon is his own evil. And being his own evil, like he can literally go to Dante. Trigon can literally go to Dante and, and, and literally corrupt Dante's mind. Like seriously, 
Trigon can literally... Oops, sorry about that, guys. Trigon can literally corrupt Dante's mind. And corrupting Dante's mind would, like, literally give him the power Dante has on that amount of evil. And, like, he literally be above Dante. So Dante will, like, literally need to push him aside and get holy water. Um, but it never said anything about holy water literally affecting Trigon. That means Dante is going to have to go leave and, and, and just possibly go back to his uh, reality or possibly take Trigon with him because, um, like, contaminating Dante's mind and literally give him the power Dante has. I'm not saying he have Dante. I'm not saying. I'm just saying, like, the corruption he put in his mind will literally, like, siphon the abilities in the everything he has like the heart of darkness consumed evil so try the heart of darkness was summoned to basically erase trigon because he he was evil himself but he was able to like absorb that evil that that was erased from the heart of darkness who wasn't evil by the way like literally and just suck it out so trigon is like literally the reason why dc is uh He's pretty much the chaos that re resembles the balance in between the DC, well, with the DC universe. And Raven is the literal order that basically balance out the entire DC universe. But if you put Trigon in the Stephen King universe, he'll contaminate Gan. He'll contaminate the entire universe. Pennywise will send his avatar to go in to find out what's going on with that infinite reality. You know, and then Matern to be contaminated. And, like, it'll literally give Trigon the power Matern has. And he'll be bigger than that. So it doesn't matter if he's shapeless, if, if he's bigger than the uh, concept or the idea of size. It doesn't matter because evil is literally infinite. And, and contaminating the Stephen King universe is pretty much like you're saying that if Trigon can, like, literally... If Pennywise is the reason why the Stephen King universe exists and Pennywise somehow gets contaminated with evil and darkness beyond his comprehension, that'll literally contaminate the entire Stephen King universe. And Gan, too, will be contaminated. And, like, if he throws that to Gan, corrupt, uh, contaminate Gan's mind with darkness or the way he see, because Gan's chaos and... Against chaos, we'll see the infinite realities just tearing themselves apart with infinite darkness. So, in this case, Trigon will be like a virus that will contaminate the entire Stephen King universe. And by him absorbing all of that darkness, will literally make him his own god of the entire Stephen King universe. So, I'll be back to say more. Have things to do. Appreciate it. Leave a comment below. Peace.